This must be it. Hmm. Its power still lingers. The dragon must have been on the verge of complete madness. No sign of damage, though. No matter how powerful that boy's keepsake, it could never suppress the full power of the Shining Dragon. Hmm. But that leaves only one possibility. That boy suppressed the Shining Dragon on his own. Hmm. I didn't think him capable of that. Does the boy possess some power beyond my understanding? Hmm. Yuma, was it? Perhaps he's the one. Perhaps he'll lead me to the truth. Shining Dragon. Duh. He's hopeless. Not even any fun. If that's all he can do, you don't need me to capture him. Yorg, you do it. <laughs> well, I suppose it could have gone worse. You showed uncommon restraint simply leaving him alive. But was it really too much to ask that you take the Sky Dragon's soul? Dragon soul? Right. Joachim said something about that. Sorry, totally forgot. Zest. Obtaining the Dragon Souls is in your best interest, not merely ours. You do understand that, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. I'll remember next time. Enough of the Sky Dragon. We determined its location, and that is victory enough. We will have our chance to reclaim it. Our primary tasks are to find the souls of the Sea Dragon and the Dark Dragon, and to analyze the Earth Dragons. The Dark Dragon's soul in particular would be a great advantage. My sources tell me its power rivaled the Shining Dragon itself. My father's wish demands we acquire the Shining Dragon, but that can wait until we have collected the others. Georg. Continue your investigation into possible sites for the Dragon Souls. Understood. Our troops are currently scouring the land for other potential ruins. How goes our analysis of the Earth Dragon? I note Joachim is absent. Hold up in Galeritz, I believe. Infatuated with the one world Dragon Soul we've acquired. Hmm. It would appear everyone understands their role. I expect the same level of competence in your duties henceforth. I declare the Council adjourned. You've all done fine work. Feel free to leave at your leisure. Yes. By your leave, Your Highness. Is something wrong, Beatrice? I note you remain. Hmm? Your Highness, I'm your personal attendant. It's my job to stay at your side. But what of your duties? I imagine Georg is eager for today's report. Whatever do you mean? You needn't dance around it. Your true mission is to spy on me and report my actions to the Church. <laughs> so you knew. And how will I be punished? Will I be condemned? Dismissed? Or perhaps... Why? I have many needs, and you are a capable enough attendant. You will remain at my side. Oh, that's... unexpected. Why? You seem the only member of the Sanguine Church worth my trust. I think you're mistaken, Your Highness. I'm a Dark Elf. You know they say we're all born traitors, don't you? I disagree. 
I believe your face betrays more than you do yourself. And how's that? Whenever you leave my room to report to Georg, I see the flash of pain across your face. I see desperation in your eyes. You truly didn't realize? <laughs> A person so burdened with guilt might be a traitor indeed, but not in heart. That is my view of it. Is there anything more you need, Your Highness? Not at the moment. Understood. I'll be taking my leave then. <sighs> hmm. After mom died, I moved to an elven village. Considering I was a vessel for the Shining Dragon, they treated me well. Thanks to the villagers, I led a comfortable life. But behind their respect, they were terrified of the dragon inside me. So no one ever talked to me more than they had to. I never really had any friends either. All I remember about that village is that I was always alone. Always so lonely. I guess that's why I ended up disobeying my mom and started running off to play with the Shining Dragon's power. As a dragon, I could fly anywhere, roll boulders around, knock down trees, like having my own playground. When I was the Shining Dragon, I felt like I could do anything. It was so much fun. Every time, the Shining Dragon would tell me to go as far from the village as I could when I used his power. I didn't really think too hard about it. I just figured it meant the villagers wouldn't get mad at me. It was only later that I found out why he was warning me. And then everything was... painfully clear. Well done, everyone. Thanks to you, the soul of the Sky Dragon is safely in our hands. Any dragon souls you find, including the Sky Dragons, will be safe here in the castle. Keep up the fine work. Oh, but Sonia, how are your injuries? It's nothing too serious. I see. That's a relief. Your opponent must have been fearsome indeed to land such brutal strikes. No, it... The whole thing was my fault. Yuma, he doesn't need to know that. What? You're gonna get everyone worked up over nothing. Just keep quiet. Uh, that's Zest. Strongest in the Empire and stuff. No wonder she got hurt. He's practically a dragon himself, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, quite. Well, uh, uh, Burroughs, any word from our scouts? At present, there's no information on Imperial movement. No reliable information, anyhow. Things being quiet as they are, we've no plans to mobilize the princes and her team right now. I recommend they stand by in town until the boys in reconnaissance have something worth reporting. Stand by? But we can't afford to waste time. Rest isn't wasting time, lady. A knight's got to keep her strength up. Be ready for any new battles on the horizon. We've said it time and time again ever since you were a child. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I... I guess you're right. Okay, we'll wait for your orders. Indeed. Use this time to rest, everyone. And build your strength once more. <laughs> <laughs>